Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks for your uh, decisive leadership as we confront this unprecedented uh, challenge uh, posed by corona coronavirus. And I'd like to thank you for your support for this important initiative and thank uh, all of uh, the Secretary of Defense and all the services uh, for taking on this, uh, this important initiative. Obviously, during this crisis, we're all focused uh, above all else on COVID-19. But at the same time, uh, our law enforcement and national security work must go forward, protecting the American people from the full array uh, of threats. For the Department of Justice, one of our highest priorities must remain destroying the Mexican cartels. Their trafficking is largely responsible for the deaths, as we all know now, of 70,000 Americans a year. Uh, and also, the costs of this don't count uh, the destroyed families, the destroyed lives, the draining of our national uh, treasure as state budgets are crushed by uh, the burden that this, uh, the, the, this uh, 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 narcotic trafficking causes. The President has made clear uh, that we are in this fight against the cartels to win and that we are not interested in half measures and that the threat posed by the cartel is not just a law enforcement threat, but a national security threat as well. And in December, building on uh, your success with uh, the Mexican uh, president in forging uh, a cooperative relationship uh, in the area of uh, immigration, you asked me to go down and meet with the president, uh, Lopez Obrador, and our Mexican counterparts to see if we could also establish a more comprehensive and coordinated effort with the Mexicans uh, in confronting the cartels. And uh, we've had some uh, successful visits and, and discussions and currently have an array of activities underway against the cartels. And we anticipate, along with the Mexicans, that these are going to bear fruit in the months ahead. But it quickly became clear that we can obtain the most immediate uh, results, the best bang for the buck, uh, where we increase the assets involved in interdiction on both the Pacific and Atlantic side of Mexico and the Central American uh, countries. For years, the cartels have been uh, using these sea routes to take the cocaine up from principally Colombia, now also out of Venezuela. And these sea routes on both coasts uh, have become the primary means of bringing cocaine up to the United States. Because of the superb work done by the uh, Defense Department and our intelligence community, uh, we know exactly most of the time where these traffickers are at sea. Um, but we're significantly, have been up till now, significantly limited in our ability to interdict because of the numbers of the assets we have deployed. Uh, prior today, uh, this limitation meant we could only intercept the fraction uh, of uh, the, the traffickers that w and, and the, the various boats uh, that were detected. This will now double our capacity, and we are talking about hundreds of tons of cocaine now uh, we're now in a position to seize. So this is going to uh, radically improve uh, our interdiction efforts and put tremendous pressure, we think, on the cartels. Uh, and uh, the effort that Southcom is uh, undertaking is going to save lives by taking drugs off the street. Last week, I announced the unsealing of charges uh, of narco-terrorism, drug trafficking, and other crimes against the former Maduro regime, 16 members of that regime, uh, and their involvement in trafficking of 250 metric tons a year. A lot of that comes by sea, as I discussed at that time. But also, because of the pressure we're applying uh, by our sea uh, interdiction, they are trying to establish an air route out of Venezuela up into Central America, which is one of the reasons we're trying to move firmly against uh, that corrupt regime. Uh, you know, this drug war has gone on for many decades, and at times in the past, we've had great success and great results, and at times we've taken our eye off the ball. Fortunately, not in this administration, and I'm grateful that you, Mr. President, have brought focus to this fight and the determination to use whatever tools are necessary to win the fight. Uh, the cartels have to be defeated, uh, both for the people of this country and for the people of Mexico and Venezuela. 
So I'd like to thank you again, Mr. President, Secretary Esper, for providing the wherewithal required uh, to help win this war uh, against the cartels uh, and others who seek to send illicit drugs into our country. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Ambassador O'Brien.